If you are looking for another sign that the warmer months are coming, look no further than the Denver Zoo. The birds are out and about. Flamingos out of their winter home, and our Joel Hillen was there. And Joel, the birds can now go for a walk. Yeah, it's their annual migration to their outdoor habitat. We got to be here as it was carried out and meet some of the characters involved. This is Carrie. Um, she's about nine years old. Carrie was one of about 20 flamingo eggs rescued from Florida and hand reared by the Denver Zoo nine years ago. Hand reared ones are awesome for our flock. Not only do they get to do these up close animal encounters and inspire people to learn more about flamingos and other birds, but because they have a lot calmer demeanors, they help calm down the rest of our flock. Carrie and the rest of the flock were examined, vaccinated, and hand carried to their outdoor habitat one at a time. This will be their new home until November when they're moved back inside. That signature pink color you see comes from what flamingos eat, a coloring process that can take five years. When they're hatched out of the egg, they're white with pink beaks and pink legs. And after about two days, they uh, turn into little gray fluff balls with black beaks and black legs, and it takes years until they look that beautiful color. Denver Zoo bird keeper Anton Morrison admits flamingos weren't his favorite bird at first, but over time, he's fallen in love with them. They are just so goofy. They have a lot of personality. Most people will never know that um, flamingos would come over and maybe play with your phone or your watch or your hair, um, and these guys do that, and uh, you can't help but fall in love with them. And they have quite the lifespan, too. Talking to Anton, get this, guys. They can live into their 70s. Live at the Denver Zoo, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado first. Joel, I learned two things today, their age, and I had no idea about the color. That's pretty interesting. All right, thanks, Joel.